let's get it going. Hello, hello. Next up. Oh boy. This is one that I have wanted to play for a while. I played it in old standard and it was all right. Kind of one of those go big, win big, but when you lose, oh boy, does it hurt. Uh, where are you? Oh, Aetherflux Reservoir. Now, for those who have not seen it, this card is, oh, this card's a fun little piece of spice. Format artifact. Whenever you cast a spell, you gain one life for each spell you've cast this turn. Pay 50 life, deal 50 damage. What better way to just gain as much life as possible? Make your spells cheaper with artifacts. Have cheap artifacts to begin with. And then, Paradoxical Outcome. Now, Paradoxical Outcome. One blue, three colorless instant. Return any number of target non-land, non-token permanents you control to their owner's hand. You draw a card for each return this way. So basically, the entire point of this deck is just to get barf artifacts onto the battlefield, and then bounce them all back, draw a bunch of cards, barf them all again, and hopefully eight the the flux reservoir your opponent's face off. Now to facilitate this combo, we have hmm, like Amber, but I wonder if it should be the fourth witching well. I don't know, the game. Eh, nah, let's keep the Amber. Amber's too good not to do it. Anyways, uh, let's go over the artifacts. Mox Amber, zero mana artifact, taps to add one mana of any color among legendary creatures and planeswalkers you control. We need zero drops. We need things that can come back up and down, draw cards, and facilitate both tapping for a color when I have a legend or a planeswalker, or tapping for colorless to reduce the spell if I have inspiring statuary. Mox Amber kind of does it all. Uh, next up, Witching Well, one blue, Scry 2, gives me the ability to draw cards later on. Cheap, effective artifact that helps fix my next couple draw steps or comes in handy later. The old golden egg enters the battlefield, draw a card, I can make mana of any color, or more importantly, I can gain life off of this. This could be clutch, considering that uh, aggro might just smash my face into the ground. Eh, we'll see. Prophetic Prism, this is an old favorite. Two mana artifact, it's a cantrip, and then it mana fixes. It's mostly just here to cantrip and to facilitate Inspiring Statuary and all the fun stuff that is therein. Now there's another way you could have gone with this list, and that is some more zero drop artifacts to try to kind of push Paradoxical Outcome further, but we're gonna try the egg plan first, which is just, like I said, barfing artifacts out, trying to find Reservoir. Now to find Reservoir, we have a couple of options. We've got the card draw, we got Emery, Lurker of the Lock, one, two for three, costs one less for each artifact you control. He mills yourself for four and then lets you choose an artifact in your graveyard and cast it again. So again, you find an answer or you just see something nice in the yard, boom, Emery lets you get it, not to mention a legendary creature for purposes of Mox Amber. Psy Master Thopterist. This dude, this dude's what's pro hopefully gonna keep me alive against a lot of decks. When you cast an artifact spell, you create a 1-1 one, one colorless thopter artifact creature token with flying, and then you can sack artifacts to draw a card. As you can imagine, hopefully this will escalate out of control before my opponent can stop it. And if not, at least make some trump blockers, and he's got a big butt, so he can block himself. It's debatable if we should go 4 Emery and 3 Psy, or 4 Psy and 3 Emery. I personally went 4 Emery. As I'm saying it, I'm starting to reconsider. Maybe I should grab a fourth sign, test both. Eh, let's go with three and four, see how it works out. Uh, Time Reveler. I originally had this guy as a four of. He's now down to a two just because he, as good as it is, and it is quite good at protecting your turn and bouncing some of your value artifacts just to replay them, doesn't fit enough with the deck to really, to really make use of having more. Two is kind of the right number, because when you need them, you have them. If you don't need them, you don't worry about them too much. And worst case scenario, like I said, you play them, you bounce one of your own artifacts, and you get a free double cantrip out of it. And he turns on Mox Amber, so, eh, Time Reveler is fine. Um, and of course, Inspiring Statuary, three mana artifact. It gives all nine artifact spells improvised. Oh, well, all spells, I guess. Just makes it so that I can tap artifacts to make them cost less. Very, very powerful card. Again, I had it as a four of. I actually cut the fourth one for a word of invention because I was really kind of hoping I was missing were. Like I needed were. I felt like I needed it to find either reservoir or key pieces or just keep the train moving. Plus, I love end of turn plays, especially against a control meta game where I can end of turn were kind of bait out a counter or find some value in order to untap and lead on something better. 
Uh, up to the fours, we already covered Paradoxical Outcome. Very powerful card, very important. Next up, we got Karn Scion of Urza. Now, this was a holdover of the previous standard. Uh, this guy is really here as card advantage or to be able to create game ending threats because that's one thing this deck does when it barfs out of the artifacts. Being able to make Karn Structs definitely wins that. Not to mention, uh, one thing I love doing is the turn you play Inspiring Statuary, a lot of times you play Inspiring Statuary, and then you can just spit out a Karn for free because of the fact that he's a colorless, uh, a colorless Planeswalker. So, Statuary Reduce, tap, 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 boom, 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 boom. Now, right alongside of that, we have Karn, the Great Creator. This guy definitely acts as a little toolbox fetcher here out of my graveyard. He makes this so that activated abilities of artifacts my opponent's control can't be activated. Uh, that could come up against something like a uh, blue red um and soul artifact or something of that nature but for now we're really looking at him for his ability to either make blockers or find answers in the board which we will get to here shortly and then of course you get the flux reservoir the main deck um it's pretty cut and dry we got the inventor's fair for uh singling out any kind of uh silver bullets or something like that that we're looking for and then a new addition from throne mystic sanctuary uh, this isn't as good in a world without fetch lands, but it still is good enough to play, if only because it grabs a whir or a paradoxical outcome and puts it right back on top. Again, it's only a two of because it's just not as powerful as it is when you can fetch it. Still very powerful though, still worth the inclusion. Let's hop over to the sideboard. Now in the sideboard, first we'll start with our little wish board. Needle, ripped. I'm going to include Ratchet Bomb even though there's multiples. The, third, or the second reservoir, Sky Sovereign, and we'll put Glass Casket too. Pretty much trying to handle any permanent or any situation where a wish, a single wish target will have that big of an impact. Casket problematic creatures, Sky Sovereign, uh, taking over the game, shooting blockers and planeswalkers, uh, Acoplex Reservoir, if I need to win the game, and then uh, Ratchet Bomb, any non-land permanents, especially this is a good one against tokens. Just sweep the board. Uh, Pithing Needle, any kind of Planeswalker, activated ability I'm scared of, and then Graveyards. So, definitely a nice little utility package here, trying to handle anything that comes my way with Karn the Great Creator. Now, outside of that, we have Ugin the Spirit Dragon. This one, I am definitely on the fence about whether or not I want to cut it, because the thing I love about it is Inspiring Statuary makes this dude just go boom, 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 boom barf onto the battlefield and then uh, hopefully be able to take it over as Ugin commonly does. It stinks that I can't wish for him, but then again, Ugin probably shouldn't be an artifact. But bring it in for slower matchup, mid-range matchups, something like that, when you need to just sweep the board of everything your opponent's doing and then re you know crawl back up because it won't touch many of our things, or at least not many of our core things. It will hit... Eh, okay, it hits a fair amount, but not, hopefully, as much as the opponent, so that's why that dude's there. More Ratchet Bombs, because it's just a very good card to have, very good utility, especially against uh, anything token-based, of course, and then uh, anything mono-red, you know, um, the old one-drop aggro, very good there. Just a very flexible answer to all threats that may come our way. Glitness Crane, we got this bad boy, just in case... Um, you know, uh, fast aggro, things I need to kind of hop in front of and slow down. 99% of the time, he replaces himself, so it's card advantage, and then we just have a 1-3 that can just block and absorb some damage or eat a removal spell. And then, of course, more glass caskets, because who doesn't love artifacts that exile uh, creatures and opponents control? Um, they're small creatures, but whatever. You know, still does the job, still does it well, and still fits the theme. So that's the deck. Well, I guess I should cover Mystical Dispute, but we all know Mystical Dispute. It's the best mana leak ever, in situationally, I should say. And when it needs it, this deck will need it. And for one blue, it's worth it. That's the deck, though. This definitely is a nice little holdover from um, metagames past, so why don't we just go hop right in, throw old Aether Flux Bad Boy, and see what happens. See if it works out as well in practice as in theory, because, well... This is one of those decks where you look at it on paper and you go, it could work. It could work. But then you kind of think about it and you go, 
I could just get my face smashed into the ground because I'm playing a dartily combo deck that doesn't immediately win like a certain storm of possibility deck that I may or may not have just played. All right. Well, I am on the draw. Let's see how my first one does. Well, this is iffy at best, but on the draw with double witching well, I feel like I can find the second land to get this going. Ugh, it's a little meh, but we will try it out. I think it's better than mulliganing. My opponent kept seven. Looks like forest go. Okay, okay, well, it's a land. I won't complain. Let's go witching well. Well, let's see what we got. Well, these both seem good. So we're going to go put on top, put on top, and we'll yield to this turn. So we're going to plant on going Glacial Fortress, Golden Egg. Oh, that doesn't look like I wanted to. Oh, boy, we don't have a lot of time on this one. The good news is, I'm sure there's good news here. Okay, Glacial Fortress. We know what the next card is, but I think I'd rather do that. It's debatable. I should have gone Witching Well into... Yep, Max Amber. Okay, yield to the turn. Now we're just kind of looking for something. Or... Yep, Faith of I'm going to go yield to this turn. Or we might have the ability to... Three or more islands. Well, let's see. We might just be dead. This deck kills very quickly. Or you might just be like, pump, pump, uh, okay, okay, that is fine, that costs one, which I can dig, so we'll go one, we'll play an Emery, New Zeal, let's see what we hit, Pop up from graveyards here. Okay, another Emery, Inspiring Statuary, Golden Egg. Not the worst thing. Uh, let's go ahead and let's lead into Witching Well. Opponent's not going to make us discard, and now since there's nothing in what? Oh, sure. Bye, Emery. Anyways, opponent's not going to make us discard. And now that we know there's no instant in the graveyard to care about, I'm going to go ahead and just play the Mystic Sanctuary so I can lead into the Time Reveler next turn. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going Statuary next turn, which is perfect. So I'll go Mystic Sanctuary, and let's pass. I wonder if there is a way to... Because what we could do, what we're probably going to do is... So Statuary costs three. Probably go Statuary. Oh, boy, Bristling Hydra. This is just... This is just classic. What I was going to say was, Statuary, you know, taking four here. One, two, three, oh, I don't have the white mana. Oh, I guess I could use this to do it. So say it's one, two, three, Statuary, okay. Then I don't have the blue. I was just going to play the Time Reveler. I don't have enough to do both, do I? Do I have a way to do both? Let's see. Three for Statuary. One, two, three. I can get one color out. Well, I can go Statuary, Karn, Karnstruct, Amber, and set up for it next turn. Yeah, that's probably better. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Let's just start making current strokes here. I am going to go ahead and play out the Amber just to make sure that he is big enough to survive a single Bristling Hydra. And then we'll pass. So now we got stuff to do. We know Emery is the top card of the library. It's debatable whether or not I should have left that there, but my plan right now is to hopefully intimidate with Karn Strux. Otherwise, we will go Karn, or excuse me, we will go Tari. Yeah, no, you're good. We'll go Tafari into, let's see who attacks. Okay, okay, he's coming at me with both, which probably means I'm dead, in all honesty. It probably means I'm dead. 
If I guess I gotta block the one that gets bigger. It only get bigger once. But probably means I'm dead because he probably has pump and uh, Tamir Better Age, and if he does, if he's just ignoring the Karn, then what are you gonna do, right? Otherwise, if I do get the opportunity to untap, we're gonna drop the Time Raveler, bounce the Brawler, because he can't respond. And that might have been the better play, but when they have two, oh boy. But when they have two um, attackers, yeah, we're gone. Hasta la vista. Hey, look at that. Cool story, bro. Okay, well, that was fun. So now we get ratchet bombs. <laughs> we get glass caskets. And what do we get rid of? Um, let's see. What do I have? I like. Sorry. Probably get rid of a Karn. I don't think there's any artifacts we're we'll gonna be shutting down. We'll keep War of Invention. Oh man, five cards gotta go. We can get rid of some Emery's. They're good. But they're not amazing. I still like Psy, even though all of his things have Trample. Because not all of them do. Uh, I'm debating if I want to keep the Karn the Great Creator or if I want to cut him. That's the thing. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought I was boarding that out for a second. Oh, I'm boarding out of the Flux Reservoir. That's how I win. I guess we could trim. Do uh, one paradoxical outcome. I don't really have to stay in this game, but then again. Oh, what needs to go? See, I like Ratchet Bomb, but maybe it's just too slow in this matchup, actually. Maybe I should keep it in the board for a wish thing. If I play it turn two, I can stop Brawlers, but it also blows up half my board. Hmm. Yeah. I think I might keep the ratchet bombs out and just run it like this. I've got the glass caskets. I had the Karn to get a ratchet bomb, but it might just be too slow for some of his stuff. So I think we'll go with that. We'll see how this works out. Worst case scenario, I've got the Karn. I would love to play first. Oh, yeah, this ain't going to work. We're going to mulligan. We need actual artifacts. Okay, this is a keeper. I'm going to go ahead and put a Mox Amber on the bottom. Legendary and all that good stuff. Uh, opponent kept seven, so we're going to go ahead and pay two life. Play a Witching Well. Let's see what we got. So we got the ability to... <sighs> it doesn't do anything yet. Well, this is definitely going on the bottom. I do like the Time Raveler, but I think he's going on the bottom. We need stuff that does stuff. And if we don't have stuff that does stuff, we're going to have problems. Mountain. Yep. Did I just put that on the bottom? I feel like I did. There you go. Well, it's all for us. Kind of wanted a cantrip there, but... Yeah. Man, this might be one of those quick ones. Yep, old Tiger Brawler has returned. We're going to just go to Glass Cast, get that guy out before any kind of... Uh, of course. Before any kind of... Um, oh, what's it called? Um, oh, again, I can see the picture. Plus two, plus two, hexproof for it, green. Yeah, before any kind of protection, we'll just leave it there. And the good news is, whatever he has to play, cost three mana. Oh, boy. Well, again, the good news is that one takes a little bit of a, a little bit of time. Okay, Witching Well, you gotta find me some goods here. We need lands and we need things to do. Basically, we need everything. Well, there are my lands. Do I really want to just keep land, land? God. I'm kind of hoping for some cantrip artifacts in there. Otherwise, I'm just not doing anything for how long? Ugh, I don't even want to keep either of these, honestly. And I need lands. No, I need... At this point, I need some action. Inspiring Statuary or something. And I need it quickly because this pummeler is going to kill me quickly. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. No, oh, this does nothing. This does nothing. Yeah, this does nothing. My hand's a little jank right now, not gonna lie.
Oh boy, he's going for it. And he might just have it. I mean, he doubles his power, then has Teamer of Adorage. That's all for me. Well, the good news is I was dead either way. Yeah? Show me the battle rage, bro. Oh, he just had enough energy. All right. Well, hey, that was quick. <laughs> All right. Well, that was not the best way to start this one off, but hey, that's life. Oh, what do we got? Oh, I thought we were in one. Maybe not. Oh, hey, we're in. Oh, boy. Hey, come back. Well, we lost the die roll. Ugh. Well, we'll keep it, I suppose. It's something. It does kind of stink because you know, there's not much going on. Uh, Alright, well, that's something. No. Uh, I can play the Amber next turn in order to. Um... All right, so we got a statuary out of the graveyard, and um, okay, we're placing down a goose. So might be able to go next turn, statuary. Hmm. hmm. It's tough to say what's been. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and yield the turn. I got nothing. What's this? If he goes Elko, he didn't. He's just ramping. Okay, he's got three cards left in his hand. He's giving the opportunity to do stuff. Time run right away. Statuary, then I have two mana open, I can't actually do anything, or I play the Psy. Hmm. What can I do here? Hmm. What can I do here? I could just play the Psy, but then I'm just passing. I could play the Statuary, and I got nothing to do with it. Well, probably just better to get the statuary out here. Sad as that is. We'll just see what happens next turn. Yeah. And this costs three, but I only have two, so we'll go ahead and yield to this turn. So next turn, we can go Psy, Prophetic Prism. Yeah, it's just another turn to set up. Well, let's see what my opponent does with all this mana of his. The Hero of Dominaria. You got it. Okay. Well, that's something. Okay, more paradoxical outcomes. That's fantastic. Um. Okay, well... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we are just gonna play Psy. And Prophetic Prism is sad as that is. Not really rolling together like we wanted, but we we'll always yield this. Good news is. Step two. Hey, look, it's Inspiring Statuary. Really odd. Okay, well. We're not getting through his Gilded Geese army anytime soon, but maybe. I'm just going to go and yield to this turn. I'm not doing anything right now. Maybe we might have the ability to do something else. So if I. We play the Statuary. I'll we'll gain an artifact here. One, two, three. Okay. I think the opponent's just trying to annoy me to death. I don't think he can actually kill me. Yeah. So now I gotta replay the statuary. Oh, what do we got? What cost mana? Or Tamio. Sure. What do you do? Target, what do you target? Uh, targeting Doctor Token and Deputy of Detention. Alright, well. We we'll start off with firing statuary. We'll go ahead and 
play Psy. Psy. No, because I had to do it this way. Oh, right here. Yeah. We have to do it this way, don't we? Let's go ahead and replace Psy. Then, unfortunately, I think that's all I've got. Good news is, yep, up to two nine. Okay, okay. So this doesn't do anything yet. I mean, taps creatures and makes them not untap, but that's not the biggest deal. Okay, well, I guess we'll try again next turn. Oh, it reduces by colorless, right? Then he pays for one colors mana, so yeah, there's no way to uh actually if I would have gone tap, tap, tap. No, nope, that still doesn't work. Uh yep, not giving you any cards, so that's all for us. Sure. Can I do anything? I cannot. Pretty much the best thing I can do right now is run out time reveler. Paradoxical Outcome, Bounce Emery, uh, I guess Emery, Mox Amber, Prophetic Prism, draw three, replay, and just start building my army. It's Planeswalkers. It's like a Bant Control, huh? So I gotta watch out for Time Wipe, Tameo, uh, Deputy Detention, and Thopter Token. Uh, it's attacking me with a 1 3. What's this? It's whenever it deals. It deals combat damage, you draw a card, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. Well, it's gonna draw it either way, so at least this way uh, I'm not gonna take a damage in the process. Yeah. yeah, you got it. I could have triple blocked, but I just didn't think it's gonna do anything. Oh, for fudge's sake. Yup! Well, then, now we're gonna bounce Deputy Detention. What's that? What is this? Okay, now we're gonna bounce Deputy Detention with. Time Raveler, and then continue facilitating that plan. All right, let's go one, two, statuary, beep. Okay, go away. Okay, Aether Flux Reservoir. I can't actually do anything with that just yet. So I guess we're going to go ahead and target, target, target. Would I draw anything? All right. Well, let's go Sanctuary. Let's grab Paradoxical Outcome. We're going to go ahead and put it right back on top. Yep, just like that. And then let's go Mox Amber. All right. I can't reduce artifact costs. Go Emery. Oh, that was a punt. What well, does it matter? I don't need the Paradox I mean, it does matter. I should have played the Emery and then did the Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, I can just prop the Prism and get it back. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go Golden Egg. Yeah. Draw the Paradoxical Outcome. <laughs> And at this point, I just want to play the Emery. Mill four, I get a golden egg, and that's it. Um, I guess that's it for now. It's got Deputy Detention, but I have another Time Reveler. Oh, he's got the Sky Seven. Ugh. Oh, yeah, but no way to crew it that I see. Doesn't mean that it won't just pop up. I gotta keep that in mind. Probably just hit the tokens. If that's the case, we'll see what we can do next turn. So if I tap four, 
Hatoplex Reservoir. What do you do? Oh, we drew a card with the Hero of Dominaria. Okay. Okay. Yep, sure thing. Five tokens. Cool. Cool story, bro. What else do you got? We should probably lead on Prophetic Prism next turn. And these, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, now we can activate Sky Sovereign. Well, that's annoying. do here aside from the obvious hey look at that it's a sky sovereign what are the odds okay okay what do you target sky sovereign and sigh okie dokie that's combat damage right mm, combat damage yep okie okay. okie dokie nope don't care. Bye. Cool. Oh boy. Oh, well, now we're in trouble. Because all the spells become free next turn, so I have pretty much this turn to try to do something. Yuck. What can I do? Two, play Prophetic Prism. Okay. <sighs> yep. Oh, this is going lovely. Cool. Okay, well, Witching Well. Hmm. Well, let's start off with old Mr. Psy. Okay. Oh, Witching Well. Well, there they are, but how I can, and I didn't need both, but oh well. So, okay. Draws me into Karn. Karn will draw me into Hawkorn. What can I actually do with this power of mine? He can't kill me. He is going to get to start playing everything for free, so I am almost dead. Well, is there anything I can do about this? I don't think so. I'll just play on. I could draw a bunch of cards, if that matters. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> Construct. If it bounce the Sky Sovereign, at least it can't attack. Oh, wait, then he could just play everything for free. Ugh, this is not looking good for the home team. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it keeps me alive another turn though. And who knows? Living another turn might just be enough. 
I only need one card, but no. Oh well. Okay, well, let's see what you got. Show me what you got. Good gravy. <sighs> you don't say. Settle the wreckage. Yeah, dude, you already were in a pretty good. What? The, I mean, just show me everything. What is this? Cool. You know, when you do something that kills me. Because otherwise, I have stuff to do myself. Actually, no, I don't. Okay, what just happened? Time travel? Sure. Let's see, I can play the Karn. Sure, yielding through the turn, man. You go nuts for donuts. Yeah. Set of wreckage in his hand, okay. That's just it. I don't need to attack to win, but it couldn't hurt. Yeah. Cool. I need my opponent to do something. Oh boy. Ugh. Ugh. Well, that's annoying. Hmm. Interesting. Let me keep the time I will. Very interesting. It was giving me the ability to do something during my turn. I just don't have anything to do. He doesn't know that. Well, at the very least, I can paradoxical outcome and draw some cards. All right, here we go. Karn, the Great Creator. Oh, if only I could get Ugin. Oh, how sweet would that be? I can get Sky Sour. Let me move his library like over here. All this stuff is free, but he can't play anything during my turn. What can I do here? I can get artifacts. Sky Sovereign's pretty much it. I already have an Aether Flux Reservoir in my hand. Okay, well, we're going to start here. Okay. Alright. Guess. Start off with Aether Flux Reservoir. Alright. Oh, I can play one, two. Okay, let's go ahead and paradox welcome. At the very least, let's gain some life. Gain some life, draw some cards. Huzzah! More Moxon, please! Okay, not the worst. Not the best, but not the worst. Alright, let's go ahead and play the land for turn. Let's see how many spells we can play. Okay, goal is 50 life. Can he get there? The question. Maybe, maybe. Oh boy. At this point, all right. 
Let's think this through. Yeah, let's do it. Both good. Okay. Let's just bounce those. Do you have any way to gain life? Yes. So he's at 53. No, I agree with So, eh, okay. He gets it. He gets it. Woo! Well, that was close. All right, we want mystical disputes. Um, do I want ratchet bombs? Do I want glutinous cranes? Like, not really. I think I only want to mystical dispute. I mean, he kind of dirtled a bit himself. Get rid of Karn, the great creator. I mean, it stops uh, Whatchamajigger from doing stuff. Crewing is an activated ability. But that's about all it stops. Can't believe I beat him when he had the emblem. That's kind of crazy if you really think about it. Uh, let's see. I like Emery. What else do I want to take out? I don't want to take out any of the core stuff. I think it's just Karn the Great Creator. Is he going to do anything in this matchup? Always oh, another copy of Faith of Flux Reservoir. So. Mm. Yeah, I might need him. I'll keep him. Oh, one other card's got to go. I guess it'd be War Invention, but I like War Invention. Remember we sat around for a while, so he's not going anywhere. Ugh. Take out here. I don't want to take out any of the core of the deck. It makes sideboarding a little difficult. I don't want to take out Time Raveler because it was actually very good. Get my opponent from stopping me. Eh, we're in mention. Ugh. I don't like it, but eh, nice place. Okay, let's see what happens. Take out a little bit of my utility for a little bit of counter spells, and uh, oh boy. Let's see, no white mana, my opponent keep, my opponent kept. No white mana, no reduction, we're going to go on Morgan. Give me something better. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's that's not what I meant by better. Okay, that will keep. Alright, so what cards have to go to the bottom? Okay, uh, so we got one. Okay. That's something. I wonder what my opponent's doing exactly. Oh, looks that word mention I had to have. <laughs> Island Gate. I I am gonna go ahead and just uh aim for the sigh. Over the turn to Emery. It's debatable. I should have played the Emery last turn, like played the Mox Amber, then played the Emery for two. But if I do it this way, it might. Karn, the Great Creator. Well, let's see if Psy resolves. He does not. Spell Queller. Yuck. Okay. Sure thing. What is this? Just like. Weird Bant Flash dot deck. I don't know. I didn't see any collected companies or anything like that. Okay. Bounce your spell queller. Pretty good. Pretty pretty good. I just want those both to go to the yard. I don't care about them. Um, choo choo are coming.
And Choo Choo's gone. Okay. Uh, let me get this out. That's all she wrote. Hooray. Well, the good news is I can, I don't know, do something. Start lead off with the golden egg. I'm going to yield to the turn since I can't do anything. Oh boy, this is rough. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, what just happened? Oh, oh boy. Well, this is rough. Uh, can I, can I get something that costs six? <laughs> okay, well, that was uh, about as bad as it could have gotten, so, okay, well, let's see here, <sighs> I brought in that crap, ugh, oh, he's got the combo, boo, I mean, that was a really good draw. We would just run it back as is. I mean, God, that, I don't think there was anything I could have done to beat that draw. Yes, I would love to play first. Okay. All right, this is acceptable. We'll keep. I got stuff to do, and I don't have to mulligan, so I'm just going to go island and go. Look, I'll be able to do Let's go. Yep. Ugh, yuck. Okay. Non creature spell, you say? Well, then. I'm going to make this a little tougher now. Okay. So I guess we're going car instruct mode on this beat on this uh, game. Drop for spell clone. Five mana available to him. Oh no, he's only got four. Ooh. What do we got? Sure. Okay. Next we target those two. Alright, so we're gonna draw two cards if I choose to attack. Um hmm. Another one non creature spell each turn. That's fine. Attack with everything, you'll draw two cards and I'll only get one damage through. That does not seem worth it. God, one non creature spell each turn. Oh, opponent, opponent, opponent. Do I even have anything that can take care of that? Constructs, that's about it. Okay. Sure. Our instructs a little bigger. Sure. I keep making car strokes, why not? 
Okay. Well, clearly. All right. So yeah. So we got two mana. So I'm gonna worry about Falcon. Draw a card off of this, but it's not the worst. Yep. Hi, Goose. He's tapping out, not that that matters. Yep. Let's just keep making constructs. Bad I should have played the prism out of the yard, but okay, that'll be good. Spell each turn, so I can. Oh, I don't have any statue then. Oh boy. Oh, sure. You. Yep. <sighs> You know, Amy was so annoying. I'm not sure there's anything I can do. Uh, I ain't gonna be doing anything. Okay. The island and the paradise will outcome. Okay, well, I guess I'll take the island. All right. Oh yeah, that does work. Okay, so I buy my time. The time Rambler can take care of the deafening silence when we are there. Could Time Rambler bounce the Knight of Autumn, attack the Tamio, at least get two off of it. He'll draw two cards, which is annoying. But can't let that thing ultimate. <laughs> okay, or not. Well, I guess that's the case. I'll just go ahead. Get in there. I'm gonna draw two cards off of this attack. Yuck. He may just let the Tamio go and trade it for the Karn, not realizing I have like two more in my hand. Yuck. I doubt it though. He's got a block. No, I mean, he doesn't have to. He could trade with the Emery, put the Tamiel to one, and let my Thopter clean it up. <sighs> Where my chat go? Is he saying something? No, just thinking. Okay, here we go. Oh, let me let it go. Draws two cards, and that's all she wrote. Oh, deafening silence is definitely annoying. <sighs> sure. Lots for donuts, my man. I promise you, I only have like two more. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, this is the most exciting game ever. Yep. Super cool, bruh. Super cool. Yep. How many vetoes he's got? Oh, that's nice. All right.
Ugh. Yup. Ugh, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Maybe the newly had. No, I didn't. That was last game. All right. Well, uh, this is entertaining. Okay. Guess I'll pass. <sighs> okay. Oh, deafening silence. Yup. Oh, yay. He's going on the aggro. Cool. Story, bro. Cool. Yay. <sighs> Okie dokie. Mm. Do 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 What, what, what? All right. Wow. I guess we could go for it. Try to hit the statuary. It's not like I have anything else to really do. He's got one card left in his hand. Well, there we go. You know, the problem is, it doesn't do anything, though, does it? Oh, you're kidding me. Well, it doesn't this turn. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, does it? Well, actually, it does allow me to War of Invention something. My opponent can't stop it. Ugh, crepes, of course. Yup. Oh, this is annoying. God, this is like the most annoying thing ever. Yeah, beat it. I don't even know what I can get here. I suddenly wish I had a uh, Ratchet Bomb. Ratchet Bomb would be pretty sweet right now. Hmm. Which well it is. Okay, all right. Oh, my. Mm. Okie dokie. I will opt not to black. Okay. All right, what do we got? Deafening silence. Ugh. All right, now during his turn, I will go ahead and attempt a paradoxical outcome. Oh, I can't. I can't do anything. That's amazing. Well, I could sack some artifacts and draw cards. I could gain life. I can do some stuff. Oh, my God. Yup. I feel like this deck is just destined to annoy me as much as possible. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oop. Nope, no blockers here, sir. Eh, it keeps me alive another turn. That's something, I suppose. Okay. 
Well, that was about as annoying as it could possibly get. But hey, let's hop right back in. Give me someone else who is not playing that deck. <gasps> All right. I would love to. Oh, yes. The rule of going first. Ugh. Okay. Now well, we're going to keep. We'll put Karn the Great Creator on the bottom and hope that I draw something. My opponent kept seven. All right, Witch and Well, give me some goods. Here we go. Scry two. <laughs> oh, well, I gotta keep it. Because it lets me cast Emery and then it's another land to start casting stuff. Oh, Lord Almighty. See what I mean about decks that look better on paper? Ooh, an island. Oh, I like your island more than mine. Okay. Cast. Yes. Yield. Give me some goods here. Yep. Alrighty. No, I can't do anything like that or something. I can't do anything. So next turn, I can. Uh, if I draw a land, I can statuary, which would be great. If I don't draw a land, or if he does something to my creature, smuggle it, Kafka. That's fine. Let's draw a land. It's not. Mystic perfect. Okay. Oh uh, man, that's all for me. I need to flux reservoir. I didn't even realize that was in there. Blue white flash, it would seem. Yep. That's fine with me. You served your purpose, Emery. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, Karn, Karnstruct. We'll probably Prophetic Prism first. So Prophetic Prism, or sorry, excuse me, Prophetic Prism. Yep. Do we discourage? Discards, three minute inspector. Must mean a pretty good hand. Okay. All right, we will lead on Prophetic Prism, draw a card, and we'll go into Karn, we'll make a Karn struct. I mean, Karn's going to immediately die, which is un unfortunate. But I will be left with a 5-5 five five that hopefully can get some work done. No, let's start drawing cards. We really need to draw cards. Even if they're lands, that's fine. All right, he'll give me a Glacial Fortress. There's a Golden Egg with a Silver Counter. And land. And... Sorcery Rope. So I got a Golden Egg if I need it. And then I'll be able to replay Emery this turn, so he doesn't get quellered. I think we should continue ticking up Karn. I don't think I want the golden egg. I just need to keep him alive. Got paradoxical outcome. We need a sigh. Gideon. Well, the pressure's on now. Well, I got five coming. Which is fine. Yeah, I might be dead here. He might just attack me, but if that's the case, we'll make a Karn struck. Yeah. If he attacks Karn, awesome. Let's see what he does. All right, Karn. He's going after Karn. Sweet. Discard irrigated farmland. All right, Karn's down to one. Fantastic. Not dead next turn. All right. Emery number two. All right. Well. Start off with Emery. Let's mill. Okay. Tick up. Yeah, I got an island out of the deal. Fine with me. Let's go ahead and place an island. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a paradoxical outcome. 
How much money do I have left? How much do I have one? Let's draw some cards. See what we can find. Maybe something, anything. Okay. Not the best, not the worst. Let's go ahead and play memory. Okay, nothing crazy there. Another Karn, what do I do right now? What I need is to get my Aetherflux Reservoir into the, onto the battlefield. The only way to do that Boom. Can I cast this? I cannot that I'm aware of. Okay. Ten cards in hand, I'm gonna discard. Now we're back at spell quarter range. Emery, statuary, statuary. Okay. Okay. Well, See what my opponent's got. Otherwise, my best bet here, I have to get this. There's an Aetherflux. Oh, the Aetherflux Reservoir is in the graveyard. Oops. Well, if memory stays in play, we'll go ahead and go Aetherflux Reservoir. It's plus four. Ugh. Here we go. Okie dokie. Yay! Two, four, seven, twelve. Well, I'm not dead, and Spellcaller is not coming along, so I guess we'll just do what we gotta do. Yup. Super cool, bro. Double Reflector Mage. That's the way it goes. Alright, we need to get a Psy. would probably be the best thing. If there was anything I could draw, it'd be a Psy. Psy off the top. Sigh off the top. Ooh, sigh. What was that? Oh, phew. Mm. Okay, well, I think we're dead. <laughs> I think my opponent has annoyed me to death, which is the worst way to go. Well, the statuary, which means we have the Karn, but I only have five. Um... There he is. Well, I guess we have one more turn. Let's see if I can survive. No, I'm pretty sure I'm like dead, like a million ways from one, because I mean, there's simple combat damage kills me. But maybe he'll be like, yeah, I'm scared of a sucks. Okay. Well, this is going to be annoying. Okay, well, glass caskets can come in. Those are decent. Glittonous crane can come in. That's like, what do you even take out? Karn. I only just stop that stuff. Hmm. I don't want to take out any of my pieces. Take out the wars, but I'm not gonna be doing much of that. Um, excuse me. Um, hmm. Hmm. be a trim, a paradox Falcon, a emery, and a prophetic prism. Try like that. Yeah, try like that. 
I kind of want to take out Karn. Oh, actually, this would have been a good matchup to bring in Ugin. Oh, well. All right. Well, I need mana, but I do have stuff, and stuff is good. I need white mana, I think is what I meant to say. Okay. My opponent kept seven, so that's my witching well. Yay. What do we got? White mana. I want either of these cards. I don't think I do. Really need to get. Really need to find white mana for this glass casket or or uh, for any of this. No three of an inspector. That's good. White mana. That's an enemy. Um. Yeah, let's go, Emery. So Emery also turns on uh, Mox Amber. Okay. There's white mana. Yeah, that's all I got. So next turn. Tap Emery target to uh, Prophetic Prism, I imagine. <laughs> I'm just gonna annoy you to death. Yes, yes you are. That's annoying, but at least it's something. The land. Can't be upset about a land. Um, alright. So you play this. Make Emery cost one. And then play the Glutinous Crane. That works. So I can mill four. Okay. Golden egg, we'll take it. Oof, any other. We'll go there, white mana. Mystic Sanctuary. Pass. Got something going on, and that's better than nothing going on. Do not know what that was. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Yup, I'm just gonna irritate you to death. You are doing it, sir. You are doing it. Okay, another Mox Amber, that's useless. Um. One mana of any color, yuck. Well, let's see what we draw off the old golden egg. So my opponent's just hell-bent on annoying me to death. Mystic Sanctuary, well, that's annoying. Yeah, that's annoying. I can't even glass casket that thing, because, well, we will play another Mystic Sanctuary, and we will go ahead and pass. Well, I can block forever. That's nice. I can start drawing cards with Witching Well. That's nice. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Hmm. That's an odd one to bounce. Looks like it gives me card advantage, right? Okay. Really wants that two damage. Okay. Did I say two damage? I'm in one damage. There we go. Graven. Nice. Yay! I didn't even do that. All right. Hold the Mox Ambers. Okay. Sack for a white. Two, three. Play the Time Raveler. No, play Gas. No, yeah, play Time Raveler. Last casket's not going to do anything though, so. Okay, let me think about this for a second. Let's go Glintness Crane. See what we find. Another golden egg. Any order. Okay. Sad how much I want that prophetic prism. <laughs> oh, the Mox Ambers. Alright. That's all for me. Sad how much I just white man is the difference between me doing something and that. 
One, two, three, four. I can sack and bend and spare to get. Oh. Okie dokie. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, my life for a sigh. Oh, look at selfless spirit. Oh, pointless. Yeah, you're getting life. I'll take it. Jeez. Okay, I got white mana now. So what can I do with it? Glass casket. A reflector mage. That does nothing. I can time raveler. That does. I can time raveler, bounce my glintness screen, draw a card, replay it. Try to find something to do something here. Where's the reservoir? The reservoir is in my deck somewhere, so let's go ahead and go. Hey. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go for bounce, go to the next screen, draw a card, replay the last screen, try to find something that does something. All my paradoxical outcomes. I think I've seen all of them now. Just need an eighth for this one. Goods here. All my outcomes. I think I've, I think I've seen all my outcomes, so that's off the board. I really just need a war of invention, which I boarded out. Or, all right, what do we got? Gideon, Ally, Zendikar. Sure. Ugh. I'm dirtling too much. I think I have to pass the next turn and use my inventor's fare to go to Aether Flux Reservoir, but with any hope of surviving. Cool. <sighs> what do we got now? Statue. Oh, there's the reservoir. So there goes that plan. Ugh. I think I'm just going to wait and draw two cards with the Witching Well. Try to find something better to do. Holy cow. Yeah, we'll just do that. Just keep open blockers. Ugh. Try to win next turn, I suppose. Interesting. Either they're going for the kill or whatever. Really difficult to say what the better plan is here. Oh, interesting. I would have thought bouncing a reflector mage, maybe. Eh, maybe not. Maybe he thinks I'm setting up our wrath or something. Slows 
Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. All right. Yup. Uh, triple Reflector Mage. My opponent is really just trying his hardest to annoy the crap out of me. Oh, well done, opponent. No size in sight. Eight Deflex Reservoirs in my graveyard. I have a card, I'm at 10. Witching Well, there goes Psy. Awesome. All right, let's go on Witching Well. If we survive another turn, we're good. Can we survive another turn, I wonder? 10? Three, six, no, two, three, six, eight. He can hit me for eight. Okay. Um, hit the token. Forget it. Just play the Witching Well. It's no value since I know it's on top, but at least it's another artifact. Okay, well, on top and on top. And here we go again. Let's do the time warp again. Oh, triple reflector mage. Oh boy, at least it wasn't off of a collective comp collected company. I remember those days. Okay, three, six, nine. So I only got a block of three. Three, six, nine. Cool. Okay. Well, that was an easy one. Yay. Yay. Hmm. I think we're learning why certain things work on paper. And not, and not, what was that, two? We lost two in a row with this. Oh, do I want to try one more match? I kind of don't. This one's kind of, this one's kind of a stink burger. It just stinks because there's a possibility there, but it's like it just doesn't do enough. It wants to do more, but then it doesn't do enough of what it wants. Man, it's a shame. I really liked it on paper, but it could have been. No, hmm. this one I'm gonna have to shelve. Like this one's definitely an O2 drop deck, which is unfortunate because it really felt like there was potential. I saw that one game. Man, triple reflector mage is pretty frustrating, but I mean it's gonna happen. I yeah, think if I had not gotten triple reflector maged, Emery might have actually gotten something onto the battlefield. All I had to do was get that reservoir onto the battlefield, but oh well, that's life. So I'm going to keep an eye on this one. I feel like there's still potential. This might just not be the best way to go about it. So if you're feeling it, give it a shot. Let me know what you think, and then go ahead and shoot me a list. Because the other option I was considering is instead of white for the time raveler, going red for a... Um, Gyra, Gyra, however you pronounce it. The chick who says whenever you play a historic spell draw card, I played her in standard. That was pretty fun. Maybe we'll try another spin on this um, with that and see how that works. But that's all for this round, everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to wrap it up and say uh, this is your jam. Definitely has potential. Be ready for a bit of dirtling. But when it goes off, it's pretty sweet. So, all right. And that's all for this one. We're wrapping it up. Oh, hey, you made it to the end. Congratulations. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it a train wreck you just couldn't look away from? Feel free to give me a little bit of feedback down there. If you liked it, you can hit the button to say like, subscribe, whatever. I'm sure I'll leave a couple links, probably to my Twitch, if you ever want to catch it live. I usually stream on the weekends. Usually. Yeah. Otherwise, shoot me an email, shoot me a deck list, shoot me a feedback. I don't care. I love other people. It's a great thing. We're gonna take it easy. Bye.
Bang.